Vattery fancies the Reds and is happy for Mick to have a go at the Yellows, which doesn't surprise me because the, the Reds have com total coverage on the black. So Yellows are faced with the problem of developing the black in order to make a clearance. So that's what Mick will be looking at here. That or he will just cover this hole and get control of the frame, which I don't mind, and that's a nice shot by Mick. He's not got complete coverage, but he's, he's covering the direction all the reds are in, if that makes sense. So no, none of those reds down this bottom part of the table can go into that pocket. So now Sean's at the table and he's left basically nothing. So the, yeah, that was an excellent shot there by Mick. Sean has attempted to play a safety here. Um, ideally leave Mick on as little as possible, but he was he was struggling for options there because he was left so tight to that red. Uh, do you know what this is a race to, Dan? The Lorenzo Josh match? Race to 11? Okay. Yeah, everyone is over on the. Uh, everyone is standing around the table. I mean, obviously, this men's, this men's final has got quite the crowd around it, but the rest of the room is over at the. Uh, is it the seniors or the masters? I hope I haven't insulted anyone by asking that question. I think it's the seniors final between Lorenzo and, yes, first of 19, Dan. Oh, so it's first of 10. Sorry, wait, wait, I'm talking about a different final, guys, maybe. Oh, Mick has made an attempt to develop the black. And while the black looks like it goes to the top pocket now, um, yes, the out is extraordinarily difficult from here um, but it's certainly possible so that's a great effort there by by, by Mick hmm. I can't see much way of him so if he screws back up this I can't see a way he can hold off this ball um, on the left. Oh, okay. So he had the angle to come in. That's a really, really good shot. So now if he's able to hold, he can actually complete this, this finish. And this would be fantastic. Really top shelf finish here if Mick's able to complete it. Um, it's, he either needs to land straight on this yellow so he can follow through for the black to the top right corner or with an angle to go into the black so that he can promote it further. And he looks like he's landed the second one with angle to go into the black. So he'll be really happy with that shot. And uh, now if he's developing the black, he needs to... Well, he's, he's going to have to play a good shot. But let's see how he goes about it. He might be able to just nick the black thin. Nudge it up towards the middle pocket. Uh, okay, no, he was he was with a rather unfortunate angle there where he couldn't quite get into the black, but he couldn't quite slip past that red to get onto the black to the top corner. So now he's got a really thin cut. And this is a very difficult shot for anyone. So let's see if Mick is able to produce a brilliant shot in this final. Oh, that is a great effort. That is a great effort. And it's in. What a shot. That is a great shot. That's a great shot by Mick to bring it back to 4-2. What a brilliant clearance he's completed there. He will be buzzing right now. I know he's 4-2 down, but he will be buzzing. A little bit all over the shop at the moment. So Dan's struggling with the update on the screen. But that is the ladies' singles. And it is a race to... Do you know the race to, Dan? Okay. We'll get back to you on that. 
Race to nine, we believe. Ladies, singles. Sean to break here. Four, two up. Oh, what a brilliant break. Brilliant coach and genius. The person who taught him that will be watching and will be happy I said that. <clears throat> but yeah, so Mick is now left with these wonderful looking yellows. Except for the one the white is closest to currently. That yellow looks a bit tricky to deal with. Uh, at, from where I'm sitting, it looks like the only pocket it realistically goes to is the bottom left. So Mick may have to look at giving it a nudge or being very precise with the white ball. Oh, is he playing it now? Is he going to play the cannon? Yes, okay. Oh, no, he's not. Come on. What's he doing? Oh, he's playing that one. Yeah, that's fine. So he's cleared that out of the way. So now the uh, yellow is... Ooh, he's left himself a little awkward here, I think. Unless this yellow passes to the bottom right, he's going to have to play a safety. Um, given he's looking at this, he's most likely on it. Uh, I can't see the over. Oh no, we've got the overhead. Yeah, no, it's on. It's on. <coughs> so yeah, he'll, he'll be continuing here. Just needs to find an answer to this yellow. The yellow I mentioned for. Uh, I don't believe it goes anywhere, but this. Okay, so so this will all just jumble into one big mess of of commentary. Right. Oh, but it won't be in, in time with the game. Okay. Oh, Mick. Oh. Has that gone pear-shaped? I think that might have gone pear-shaped. He looks very close to this yellow, and he is. Oh, this, uh... Ah, okay. Oh, that... Okay, now we don't need to wonder if that was a push shot or not because it went enough. <coughs> that's that's a terrible result by Mick. So everyone, uh, Mark Owens will be joining, the Mark Owens, as he likes to be known as, uh, will be joining me in a moment in the commentary. So we're going to get some expert opinions. Free shot has elected to uh, pot that uh, yellow, likely to get nice position on all these balls. And he'll be going to work on the reds here. Hmm. I don't know if that's what he wanted. He's a... Uh, it it, it kind of looked like he was uh, out of position on the first shot, to be honest, which he wouldn't have been happy with, um, given that he had the the free ball. But uh, he's, he's in position here. And uh, I can't see him making much mistake here. These are, these are the outs that, at this level, you expect the players to get, but... Still, you can't take anything for granted. <coughs> Just keep a tidy white ball. Don't do anything crazy and uh, complete the finish. Mm. So he's, uh, he was able to hold for this, this cut down the rail. Actually disgusts me how easily he plays these shots because they're not that easy. <laughs> well, not as easy as he makes them look. But he is flying at the moment, Sean. And Mick will be spewing that he was not able to capitalise on the huge dry break from Sean. Mick almost got there. Uh, he, he always had the issue which the ball left on the table was always going to be Mick's issue and he was not quite able to get on it. And uh, that's what ultimately led to him missing. And now Sean's made no mistake in this clearance. And just 5-2 up. Well played, Sean, there. <laughs> All 
Right. So this is Mick Norton to break. Let's see if he can make a statement by having a huge break here. Can you comment on the women? We can. Oh, I can. We. <laughs> Sorry, I'm sitting here with Dan, but he's not on the commentary. Uh, yes, I, I can. Yes, I'll. Um, I'll glance over there. Uh, the, the men's final is typically much faster paced than the women's final, so there will be. Uh, typically, how I. I approach this is uh, focusing most of my commentary on the men's until it's complete and then the attention goes to the women after uh, but yeah I will I will be glancing over there and providing commentary on them uh, thank you Dan that was a very nice break there by, by Mick. He will be unhappy with the white, where the whites landed. Uh, but he hit those real nice and, and got a huge spread. Well, not a huge spread, but a good spread. Just to correct myself. <clears throat> um, I wonder what he fancies here. You, you could go either balls, to be honest. The, the black is free. That's not a consideration it's just uh, what is comfortable the, the, the yellow to the right middle is blocking uh, at least one of those two reds on the on the right hand side there uh, but the two reds on the bottom here are blocking uh, one of the yellows to this bottom right pocket and now it is blocking two N uh, Mick will not be happy with that shot he has demoted one of his balls and now has a lot of work to do in order to complete this clearance. He may decide that it's now too difficult and he needs to cover this hole in order to have some security in the frame, but he has not done so. Yes, AJ? Okay, uh, just hook it up. Oh no, I think Mike's here now. Oh, it's alright? Alright. You are. Okay, I am joined here by worthy substitute for Mark Owens. Introduce yourself, sir. Ah, as soon as the technology allows. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, marking in AJ Marshno. Now, for those of you who are watching, obviously we're checking out uh, Sean Partridge and Mick Norton. We also have Nikki Howard and Stella Paru. Now, are you sure that's how you pronounce your surname? Because I did not think that's how it was pronounced. My surname? <laughs> <laughs> oh, mate. Are you sure you got your own surname correct there? I got my own Mr. surname Mr. Marshno or whatever, yes, sir. Yes, sir. whatever you want to be so calling we yourself. See, uh, we can see Mick Norton in the uh, pink shirt made by a sports girl, it looks like. No, the IPA pink shirts. We uh, chose, chose the uh, feminine colours, which came out really nicely, as you can see. Can't tell too much on camera, but uh, they look really good in person. Yes, I agree. <laughs> I'm glad we agreed. So, uh, so Mick on a on a long ball here. Mick is on pop down the end. Yeah, Mick on the yellows. He, he decided to cover up on the left hand side, uh, since he uh, has the problem on the right hand side with those two. Oh, he's played a huge shot there. That's massive, isn't it? He's played this. Hold on, can we uh, wind that back ten seconds? Sure, Do I have to go back ten this? seconds, please, sir? Sorry, I just want to see exactly how that shot worked because it was too much for my brain to process without seeing it coming. Oh no, we've got some chaos. Alrighty. Apparently we're meant to ignore what we see. We've got Dan oh, trying to bring up Mick. Google. Mick is not comfortable putting one ball at a time, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> he is an impatient man. He, he loves, wants to get on with this He frame. loves a double ball, the old Mick. That was the old two balls at once. He's, uh, he's played a very tidy position on the black there. He's gotten out of that and well. he will be very happy with this clearance. This is a delightful, Incredible clearance. delightful. Actually, this was really good to sit down to. On the, on the left-hand side frame, we just saw a free shot by... Um,
by Stella there, and she opted to clear the yellow. So we've got a replay. Oh, here we go. Replay. Yeah, from Mick Norton. Oh, so he's wow. So he's played the he's cut. Just, he's played yeah, the cut he's over played the, the side. He's hit the hit the balls around about at the same time. That's a brilliant shot, actually, from that angle. That's that's fantastic. That'll actually launch him into a little bit of uh, just a little bit of confidence too, which is probably just a little needs, bit. Probably what he needs at a five two five two trailing behind yeah. with Sean. Well, he did have a four. He is he's out to get the four two was pretty brilliant as well. So. You know, he's uh, he's certainly keeping Sean, uh, keeping Sean honest here. He is indeed, and uh, we are watching Nikki and Stella, so I can I can comment a little bit on Stella. So um, just in the commentary for those at home, um, myself and Stella played in the mixed doubles. Now we've played in the mixed doubles for I think three years in a row now. We've done pretty well in each of the years. We've gone over to Black Ball Worlds. Um, I think we finished in the semi-finals in in the mixed doubles in our first year together. Did pretty well here. Now, Sean's un had an unfortunate scratch there, and uh, I've actually been fortunate enough to play in Sean's team this year. It's been many, many years since I've played in the same team as Sean Partridge. Um, I grew up with him as quite an influence in my pool world, so that's been good. We'll just see the scratch here, unfortunately. So he's had a monster break, monster break, and the white just making pace to the centre pocket there, unfortunately. And you can imagine Mick will be taking on the red balls here as the easiest out. I've just been informed that uh, Logan Bran has uh, a bit of an emergency and has had to go and wipe away a very massive bogey that was dripping out of his nose. I hope that all goes well for Logan and uh, great to see some great uh, play from uh, the two individual finals. So Scotty is saying that uh, Logan might have had a bit of a sneeze and pushed a little bit too hard. We're not sure what's come out there, but he's had to have a bit of a wipe. Thank you there, Scotty Fraser. We have Mick Norton here coming to the table, killing the yellow ball over to the right-hand rail, just clearing a little bit of the traffic. Now this should be a clinical out of red to red to red to red to the black. So on this one, we'll jump over to the left-hand side table for Nikki Howard. Currently getting the rest on the stretch. So we're now just joined back by Logan into the commentary box. How did that go for Ooh, you, Logan? Look Was at that this. Right? Uh, yeah, I just, um, just wrestled a panda. Just wrestled um, the old panda, he says. There you go, ladies and gentlemen, unfortunately. Thanks for the stream. You're welcome, Rob. And uh, it looks like while I was away, Mick has mastered. Is that correct? Oh no, that would have been a reverse, wouldn't it? Yes, because Sean, Sean was breaking uneven. Sean won a lag for one of the only times this tournament. And now look at this, the final is one frame separating them. So Sean's 4-1 lead has more or less disappeared. 4-1 lead, so I guess a three frame lead is now a one frame lead. <coughs> That's a good shot on the left there. Uh, with the free shot, decided to uh, remove the yellow. Now, uh, Nikki is it? Yes, Nikki has the option of snookering, which she has has taken. It's a nice shot there. A so classic are, move your are. opponent's ball into a garbage spot and then snooker. <laughs> Absolute classic. That's one, one of the brilliant one parts of this rule. These tables. <laughs> Mick has come up dry. Let's see if Sean... Jeez, the room has erupted there. The uh, seniors final over there is... Uh, and Stella's just missed the exit there. We're seeing the room erupt here with a couple of the masters and the senior singles going across the room there. That would be Justin Allen that people are cheering for at the yep. moment. Everyone's up and about. They are roaring here. And now let's see how Sean handles the Reds, it seems. 
So the Reds have a... Well, the Black's an issue. Unless he plays it to the top left. And I could uh, go to the bottom right or the top left, either one. He'll use... Uh, probably use oh, the you reckon he goes to the bottom right, do you? I think so, but I think he's going to be using one of these bottom balls as a connector to take the Black to the top left. Oh, anything? On the overhead, it looks like he might be on this red that he's closest to. No, not quite. But that is his biggest problem, is that ball. I believe it's very he's difficult uh, on this one, actually, with, with the overhead. Can we can we get the overhead on this one, Dan? Oh, you can see it on the... On the just on here, sir, oh, for the, the viewers, viewers at home. Yep. We just had Nicky pump in a nice black, which takes it to a 2-0 lead. I do believe Sean is on that, just judging by the angle. He has called for a ref. He's come down on this fairly okay, confidently. Yep, yep, yep. One. Yeah, okay. That was Brilliant a fair shot. shot. And he's shot. landed Chinese snooker box, horrendous. So. It is a touching ball Chinese snooker. It was a very nice pop by Sean. But unfortunately, no result to speak of. He's got the... Uh, I believe the only shot he has is this cutback, unless he plays some sort of safety. So the room has gone quiet, so I've lowered my voice. Sean is reaching over. Not a bad little safety shot. Sent it over to the corner of the table. Mm, this so does leave the yellows a little bit of a difficult pot, though Mick can now run this ball, his problem ball, down on the rail on the left-hand side down and leave Sean a difficult long pot if he misses on the leave rail. Leave Sean very he, little. If he, if he does pot it, though, he's got the yellow across the table. So this will be a key shot for how far he does roll with the white. Yeah, he's playing your shot and he's played it nice. He's got coverage he's and it well. looks like he's left Sean. Absolutely Bacchus. nothing. Pretty Niente. But I do believe he may be able to glance off that red that is at the top end of the table there. You may be able to see this bottom red here, just the way he's addressed the table. Oh, actually, you know what? Never mind. Oh, when I said was, he left Sean so nothing, close. I meant he left Sean that was on so that roll into the, the uh, right hand side. Um, but you know, it happens. But uh, Sean has left himself in an awkward position now. He couldn't really play much position there because it looked like it was quite straight on the ball. And on the left-hand side, uh, what is going on over there, Dan? Do we know what colour everyone is on? Sean's played a bit of containing the safety there. Try and leave Mick on as little as possible. Stella's at the table. And it looks like she's either on the yellows or it's open table and she's now now on the yellows. One of those two. And she's left herself really awkward. She's very close to this yellow, um, which certainly limits her options. And it doesn't look like she's got any pot on. So she'll be looking at a, some sort of safety here. So with a snooker background on Stella, we'll probably find that she'll run the white ball um, a fair way up the table. Leaving the white ball down the bottom of the table is going to be a bit risky with all the reds there, obviously, but um, pretty standard safety is to be running the white ball as high up as she can. So she may, just, she may just bounce out on one of these yellows, promote it slightly, and just run the white ball as far as she can. Yep, and as for the right-hand side, it does look like Mick is on and out to level the scores at... Five all. Stella's unfortunately put the white ball into the centre there. It could be on a fairly clinical pot out here. Yeah, Mick just got to keep a tidy white here. Looks like uh, if he if he's able to get himself on the middle, uh, the ball to the middle on the left hand side, and then deal with the ball below the black, it will be home and hose. See if he's going to stun in place or run through on this one, which are the time where he's going. Make sure he's neat here. He's played it brilliantly. He's got the gap. Yeah, it the looks like he's going to hold. Black. Run the yellow down to the right hand pocket, and he will run around that red on that bottom yellow for the black to the centre. Yep. He's slightly under hit that. He's got to beat the red here. Um, but he will, he will run the white out far enough. Unless he unless he tries to yeah no nah, he'll go straight to the bottom pocket yeah, run a little bit further out from the red oh okay it looks like he's going back yeah okay so 
Yeah, because he because he had a, a rather awkward angle there, and uh, if he played top three, he would have been close to the middle on the right hand side. He often oh, he's this. only hit that significantly. He can, he can still hit it though. This is going to be a big cut. Uh, that was a little bit careless from Mick. Uh, it was sort of a shot he couldn't really overhit, and he's significantly under hit it and left himself a much harder black than he needed to leave himself, but. Certainly capable potter. I can't imagine this. And he's made the cut. Mick Norton has made a tremendous, tremendous response against Sean Partridge. From 5-2 down, he has said, put that lube away, sir. You will not be needing it in this match. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we have a game. Okay. Um, yeah, so back to the ladies' match here. It's a miss there on the yellow. And it does look like the red still passes to that middle. So I imagine reds will be having a dip here. Unless uh, Nikki is uncomfortable going for it with the black tied up as it is. So it looks to be able to see that Nikki can still pass for the uh, for the red ball plants. Oh, what a huge another huge break from Sean. One of those uh, funny breaks where you hit it so big that balls cluster up in random spots because of unfortunately on the, away in so many different spots. Yeah, unfortunately on the larger breaks, um, sometimes we'll see that the uh, the balls will spread, but because they've been hit so hard, they come back and they cluster themselves. The, uh, the break on these tables, I think, with this type of cloth. Um, it's certainly going to be a controlled break these days. We're seeing uh, a lot more technique from players as well. They're no longer smashing the pack as much as they were. We're often seeing the cut break as well. Have you attempted the cut break? I have, and uh, I've been sort of banned from using it. <laughs> uh, due to Sean's various played reasons. an extraction there. A little bit unfortunate. He's still on the cut to the Well, middle, unless he's on, yeah, if he's on this and cut. He will, he will run a little bit high off this red, which will then bring the white ball around for a little. Difficult cut, though. Taking it down a little bit of confidence. I Oi! that brilliantly. Hey, yeah. Oh. <laughs> the white actually stopped it going in. Unfortunately, the battle of the white and the yellow occurred. <laughs> well, at least, I mean, at least the yellow didn't knock the white in, all right? You know, silver linings here. Absolutely silver lining. All right, and Mick. Mick has the, a chance to go ahead for the first time in this match. And Sean hasn't done, done a lot wrong either. This has been... Mick, di Mick didn't do a lot wrong when Sean pulled ahead and Sean has not done a, long, uh, a lot wrong for Mick to pull that back. And that just shows the standard of player we're, we're dealing with here. Oh, oh, and as the I commentator's say, curse. As I say that, Mick has Mr. played Mr. Brand has given the commentator's played a curse. a rather horrible shot there and gone straight in off in the middle. So we can, we can visibly spewing. see that Mick Norton is... Uh, quite upset over that shot, as you would be. Completely understandable. Yep. His first chance to go ahead, and it has been squandered. Sean is just no, using Sean. this red for... I, I Honestly, that seemed way too cute to me. I don't know what he was trying to do. That was crazy. It's gone horrible. Uh, I, I, I wonder what his thought process I was I understand there. the thought process behind it, right? So he's trying to kill the red, open up the black so it can go to more pockets. Oh, uh, okay. So the yellow to the, the right hand okay, pocket. Okay. It, just the, ex the idea was there, the execution was not. So I'm the speaking, dummy for not seeing how brilliant that attempt was. Speaking but of execution, we have just seen Stella play a, a brilliant snooker. A stellar shot, you could say. <laughs> An absolutely stellar shot. You, sir, are on fire. We have Dan joining in the commentary next to us. Thank you, Dan. All right, let's see if Sean can recover from this debacle he has found himself in. We have Stella on the table on the left-hand side, just quickly. So I feel like if Stella was to run this yellow ball up on the left-hand side and cover the pocket, it would be a little bit of a better shot, though. She has promoted her yellow towards the middle pocket. Still, still a clever shot. 
Mm. Sean has played a brilliant shot there. He's just run short a little bit on... Just run, he's run... Look, it's worked out for him. He has run a little bit short in terms of... I reckon of he can get the on the distance, thin this, wick on the yellow. This angle here... Smash into he, the red. He may even be trying to come into the black and, and run the one. Maybe he'll play yeah. this off the yellow. Oh, no, he's going into it. Oh! He's going into it. <laughs> I reckon he fancies this cut too. <laughs> That's a great effort by Sean. But so one of the things me? on one of the things oh, commentary about, I like to like to try and get a little bit into the uh, players as well. We've we've had the uh, privilege of playing with Sean all week, and he mm -hmm. has been playing phenomenally. Oh my so God. him putting him taking a Ooh, shot on like that's that a bit of driftage there. Uh, unless he's overcut that all the way. Either way, he's got coverage there, but Mick uh, Mick will be over the moon that he's back at the table after going in off there. He would have thought, this game is over. See you later. 6-5 down. But he's back. And now we can punish Sean for the uh, error on that first shot. And he's going to do that by snookering. And the object... He's out a little bit there. I actually would not be surprised if Sean fancies himself to nick that. Yeah, well, the, so um, mixed idea with the snooker here is um, in black ball rules, uh, the yellow covering the hole is a big problem, but when you have a free shot, you can just pot it. So Mick's trying to get a free shot here, but Sean has hit it. However, the hole is clear, so Mick got what he wanted from that shot. He will not be unhappy. Won't be two phase that Sean's potted that. Now he doesn't have to put it himself. And he's got a clearance here on the reds to go 6 5 up. A lovely shot there from Stella getting out of the snooker from behind the black, running the white ball up and down the table there. A bit unfortunate not to pot a ball there. We have Nikki who's played a nice positional shot. She potted the ball, run around the cushions to land a black to the middle. A little bit of a spot of bother if she doesn't pot this, but this should be an easy drop in for her. And she's put that in with conviction. So we see Mick Norton on a fairly standard out here. Yeah, Mick no. Norton has been playing really, really well this week, actually. He, he um, has, Obviously yes. to make them to the finals, yes. But uh, we yeah, have seen some very, very good pull from him mm -hmm. from, uh, from a single team member point of view. He topped the stats, did he? Old uh, he's near the top of the stats. I think Brody Conroy uh, topped the stats. Doesn't surprise me actually. Did see a lot of, did see a lot of very, very good pull from Brody Conroy. Played remarkably. He went out in the first round of the single to Jason Tanaskovic, uh, seven six, yep. in a rather epic match. There and uh, Jason, Jason was also the wood. near the top of the stats. So. Been very impressed with Tanaskovic actually. He um, he's played quite well this weekend. He has he's looked rather clinical. Sean dismantled him last night. Uh, not to any fault of Jason, Sean was No, Sean on has fire. dismantled everyone. Yes. It's, uh, as we've just said earlier in the day, um, in our, luckily enough in our team, we've, been, we've, we've got the two boys, Sean Walpole and Logan Brand, who are the shoulders of the team this week, and uh, Sean being the head. <laughs> interesting way of putting it, but anyway, Mick, yeah, interesting just... Interesting way of putting it. The black just doesn't go because to this. the legs will follow. <laughs> yeah, sure. Uh, no, sh anyway, nice tidy white there for Mick. The, uh, the black did not go to this uh, bottom left pocket, but he's landed perfect to the bottom right. And here we go. Mick ahead for the first time in this match. Let me see. A 6-5 lead to Mick Norton, ladies and gentlemen. This is a race to 10. It's been quite an exciting race so far. McNaughton being 2-5 trailing. Now to a 6-5 lead on mixed break also. So that's four frames in a row on the trot. And these, these, breaks, these breaks could be it. If he, uh, if he has a good break and a nice little snap, that's, uh, that's going to be on Sean to snap out of that mental sides of things. Yeah. And, and deliver a response. Return, serve, as they say. 
Both players looking good here. Nicky Howard on a commanding 3-0 lead against Stella Pardo. Yeah, yeah, it's been pretty one-sided so far over there. We have seen Stella playing very, very well, though. She, um, yeah, she's been, she's been lucky in, with the enough. And, uh, yeah, she's been playing some very, very good shots. Mick to break. He's powered that. That was a, yeah, very nice break. And, uh... This is an interesting one. This is a little bit of a little bit of a tricky one. This one, yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I do feel like I would be taking yellows on this one. We may even see may even see Mick go aggressive here. This is very much his style is to play aggressively. He may he may have a look at potting this yellow over the right hand bag there, Going and even even running yep. down the table a little bit of top right hand side coming off bottom cushion and knocking out that yellow, feeling like he could be still on the yellow to the right hand middle pocket. Uh, if he has that angle. It, I don't know if he needs top right on that, but yeah, uh, that's if he's going yellows, that's certainly the, the shot he'll go for, because that's the one problem with yellows, is the ball on the, the bottom left there. Reds have the issue of uh, having balls covered by this... Oh, okay, he's, he sees it different. He certainly he certainly had a look at it. He, oh, um, and that's, I, I highly doubt that's what he wanted. No. He's uh, already out of position on this out. Uh, but yeah, he fancied the yellows. We have uh, Rob Parnell tuned in. Thank you for the stream, sir. We do appreciate the kind gestures. We also appreciate your commentary on the APPA nine ball that you were commenting on, mate. That was really good. Thank you very much. All right. Good on you, Rob. Okay, Mick, uh, Mick's miss there. May have been all Stewart, actually, now that I think of it. Could be... So uh, we, we mentioned but, uh, we mentioned that the one problem with the reds was that yellow on the top right, and Mick first shot potted it, and second pot missed. So Sean is uh, left with a good opportunity here. It does look like this red to the right hand, uh, just below the right middle. It does look like that doesn't actually go. Uh, so Sean's played a safety here, keeping it tight. He's lost his lead, and he's. Uh, Drawing back. Wanted to settle himself in more. That is not a surrender, it is a reset. Mick is like a good wine. Gets better with age. I wonder if he's talking about McNaughton there. And I, I wonder, I mean, uh, he certainly is. He's certainly talking about McNaughton. There's only one well, there the is, tables here. Yeah, but there but, is, you uh, know, And Jamo certainly Mix. knows his wines. Does he? Actually, yes. The he's, wine man. He's always sucking on a good wine. Good old Jamo. It's good to know. Anyway, fun facts with uh, with AJ. Get to know the players, mate. Oh, Mick is uh, got Mick reasonably is. fortunate going off there, but and he's uh, held the white on spin there. This is where the this is where the jaws differ on. Oh, uh, actually, on these it was probably it would probably would have been unfortunate if he went it off because he's had to swerve around that and you see his ball. Okay, he left Sean on a and we've combination just seen two shot clips, there. Two clips on both sides of the table. We've seen a double from Stella to put the red <sighs> with the yellow to go into the top right, top left hand corner. I apologise, and um, Sean has played the glance off into the middle. <laughs> Rob Bowen, another another known wine drinker, He's commenting on his on the various brands there. And Matt Mercott, who saw me drink wine once, and perhaps the only and last time I will ever do so. That's what he's talking about there. Reds are the whites for you, sir. Uh, reds, uh, before the other night. <laughs> we'll never touch it again. We've just seen a little spit out there on the yellow ball into the middle pockets. Yeah, the middle's are, uh, unforgiving at pace. It's been one thing that uh, some of the elite players are saying they do not like about the Supreme Tables is the spit out of the balls when you when you pump them in directly into the heart of the pocket as well. Yeah, because it's rubbish. I mean, it should take the ball and you should be able to do creative things off the medals, but you're, you're limited by the table design, which is just, you know, it leaves a bit of a, you know, bad taste in your mouth, let's say. Absolutely, and Stella has just missed, oh, just missed the cut this. on this yellow, but then she's oh. uh, rear-ended the ball and sent it up to the top right-hand pocket there. 
A little bit unfortunate once to Potter, but uh, would have been in a lot of trouble if she did. It does secure her a pocket, though. She takes control of that corner very well. So we see Nick shot Norton me. taking control of this game himself. So he's going to Looks cut like he's gonna to the right-hand side. As long as he lands the red, on the top-hand side of the black. If he clips the red, he'll still be on the yellow. I don't believe so he'll touch this. Red. It looks like he Ooh, he's pointing. I wonder if that's considered coaching to his partner. Would have been in the doubles. That's why I brought that up. Anyway. <laughs> oh! <laughs> he's overcut. He has overcut that, unfortunately. He landed on, landed on the yellow. But uh, now we're going to see... Sean approach the table, having a bit of a wander. I wonder if Sean will be looking at a safety, because his red, uh, right below that yellow to the middle, is still not Absolutely on. Absolutely not will Sean be looking for a safety here, I don't believe. Oh, you don't reckon? No. If it was, ah, right. if it was me as a left-hander, I don't mind this shot. Oh, I didn't know you played with the cue in the wrong hand. <laughs> All my life. I'm surprised no one ever taught you otherwise. Sean, uh, he's played that same shot. About three times this frame. Let's see if third time's a charm, and he finally gets the foul. And with a foul, he will be clearing that dead red. Four nil to Nikki on the left there. We've just seen that Nikki put in another black for a commanding four nil lead. Commanding. Absolutely commanding. And this is this is where that mental fortitude kicks in of uh, can you can you come back from these? That, and we, we spoke about this a few times where one player has won four in a row does not mean the other player cannot. It's that, that mental strain you need to pull yourself out yes. of the hole. As long Correct. as you can think of it in that shot. <laughs> nice name in the comments. <laughs> Sean on his shot. <laughs> Thanks, mate. Anyway. All right, so Sean, with a free shot here. I don't think he's going to be pulling ball in hand. I have a funny feeling he'll just be nicking out this red over to the middle pocket. Giving this a nice little nudgerino, developing shot. Oh no, he's just going to pop the yellow. Pop the yellow. Even smarter, sir. Yes. That's why you're on the table and I am not right now. Mm. In the commentary box, can't even get that right. Yes. So he'll be pumping his ball down, hoping to knock out that yellow, which will be promoting yet another pocket for the Blacks yep. going to. Uh, this is... Yeah, okay. Yeah, I mean, not, not shot, yeah. Sure. Certainly opened it up now. Yeah, that's a very confident shot, just... Because uh, I mean, if, he, if he flicked uh, enough of the yellow, uh, it could have gone pear-shaped. But Sean's just... Uh, above the black now, which is nicely done. Hmm, interesting. Well, I do wonder why he's playing this ball, because I would have thought these two balls to the middle can be awkward if... Like, yeah. when you have to land on two balls to the middle, things can go weird. He took this early because he wanted to He wanted to get rid of this problem ball to the centre here. This is his hardest shot on the table. Having this two, one? Absolutely. Yeah. That, one, that one would certainly be the hardest shot on the table for him. Yeah, it looked, it looked real difficult there. <laughs> nice shot by Sean. And at the moment, while Sean is playing at the top of the crucible here, he makes every shot. Easy. Ah, patience, patience is a virtue here. Yes, these tables are right next to each other, so uh, the tables, uh, the players will occasionally need to wait. Oh, Sean has left himself horrendous here. I, I yeah. Really only hit that shot. Uh, he, um, yeah, he had to wait for the table on the left-hand side, and it seems he uh, just went down and played the shot without um, much attention to detail. And as a result, he's left himself here on a tough. And cup you know what middle. he says? He says he loves a tough cut. He does not mind buying the budget meat it calls for the tough cuts. Actually, if I may correct my commentary there, I believe he deliberately left himself there so he could play a harder shot just for the stream. Thanks, Sean. We Absolutely appreciate it. Absolutely stream content. And he made us look stupid at the same time. Nope. He kept that one in the slow cooker, and that is the tough cuts right there. What's the prize money for the two finals? Great question, I believe. The Actually, you know what? I, I have no idea. I'm going to go check it right now. $3,000 to the winner... Oh, $2,900 to the winner of the men's singles, I do believe. 
We will also find out about the women's in a second. Sean has just done a runner to go check the paperwork. He's very good with his numbers, so he won't forget on the way back. So what did you say the uh, prize money was, AJ? 2900 I believe. For first, for and what was singles. second? Oh. And what was uh, second? We Thanks, uh, did not attempt. Ah, okay. Well, you were spot on with the first, and second is 1350 It's actually a huge gap. <laughs> yes, yes it is. <laughs> There's a, usually a huge gap for coming first and seconds. <laughs> Thank you for the, the context, Mr. Brown. You're welcome. That's my, uh, that's my math there. <coughs> Love that math. Yeah. Quality math. It's almost like my uh, beautiful partner's maths where uh, she says if you get it for half price, it's a bargain, but uh, you still have to spend the money just to get the discounts. She loves chasing a discount. Wait, what? <laughs> I don't even understand. Speaking, speaking of the ladies, I don't understand either. That's why they call it girl math. Oh, dear. Anyway. Speaking, speaking of the ladies. We should we say that. Nikki and Stella battling out here. <clears throat> oh, look at this. And so there's double the yellow to the top there. Yeah, that was, not a, bad that was result, a good too. effort because she wasn't on the pot there because she was half snookered. Massive shot in the match. Yes, it was a huge shot. Sean with the uh, nerves of steel there. And yeah, that was a, I mean, fantastic six all. Both players, it seems, have left the arena, as we'll call it, to, I guess, compose themselves, go to the loo, maybe a buy a drink. <coughs> They're just uh, discussing yeah, yeah. the money split in the Euro. Bit of collusion. So 2900 for first, 1350 for second. Yep, yep. They have actually heard Logan say that there's quite a bit of a difference between the two, so they're just yeah, discussing yeah, yeah. on how they're going to split it evenly now. Yeah, yeah, a bit of negotiating, you know. It's like, oh, I don't know, do you really think you're that likely to win? Oh, maybe, you know. Please, I'll eat you for breakfast, mate. You know, I imagine this is how the conversation went down. Oh, I can only imagine yep. ending in uh, a thumb war. Yeah, yeah. well, room. actually, a thumb war is a great way of resolving things without um, getting kicked out by security. Absolutely. Some people think it's paper, scissors, rock, but that's very aggressive. No, that's really old-fashioned. It's right. just aggressive. Yeah. <coughs> Nikki approaching the table on reds. Ah, I see, Jamo. Well, I wonder if Sean's reconsidering that right now. <laughs> Thanks for the uh, inside info there, Jamo. Jamo with the knowledge. Jamo's always got the knowledge, I tell you. If there's a man that knows money, it is him. He knows oh, really? boss. Don't you, old Jamo? Great shot there by Nikki. She's a... Uh, just got one red over the hole to get on this black it's on this side. It's a fantastic pot, wasn't it? Hmm? It's a fantastic long pot there. Yeah. So Nikki looking to screw back here for the black. She has taken the she right hand line. Unfortunately, unfortunately took a, a landed on a bad block. line there. Maybe this is the Sean Partridge strategy of land worse so you can play a nicer shot for the string. We appreciate Nikki for that. And oh, she's a fair overcut it. She has that was a great effort on such a difficult pot. The, absolutely, nearly put the black ball over the pocket there. And we have Mick Norton addressing the table. I love that fluoro pink shirt, Mick. Look how deep that yellow is in the hole. <laughs> it didn't fall. Those, uh, those balls really deep in the hole. A little bit harder to get position off than you would expect. You can't really hit a rail because you're always hitting jaw. So you sort of just need to screw off it. Anyway, just a bit of info for you lads and ladies out there. <coughs> oh, Jamo just made that up. Okay, anyway. Uh, forget what I said about the uh, split there. <laughs> That's not like you, Jamo. Look, uh, never so let the truth great, get in the way shot, of a good story, great lads. Shot there, great shot there by Nikki. She has not let the good story get in the way of the truth. Old Nikki.
And now we see Stella with an easy yellow to the middle. Mick Fess at the table there. and fancies the reds, it seems. Played it high, which is really good. It's left her on the bottom side of the table to play the cut for the yellow. This is still going to be a very, very difficult shot. Uh, I would like to see Stella put this in just to try and give her two things. One, a little bit of confidence and two, put her on the map here. Yeah, there's one thing I know about playing the final earlier. Before you win your first frame, you are feeling the pump like and never. Put that in. Oh, that that's a, a very, brilliant very shot. shot what a Stella. great way to she, get on the board. She absolutely deserves this frame. She's fought hard for it. Still has this last ball to get onto the black here, but absolutely deserves this. Well done. Great that's finish. A, that's a great finish. That's fantastic. Right, and uh, Mick, Mick missed the red on the right-hand side and has left Sean a chance on the yellows. Now, typically, a common uh, common thing you see when you've got a ball on the rail with a ball on the hole, uh, over the hole on the same rail is running the ball down along the rail because it makes a bigger pocket. However, this pocket is not bigger because the ball is so deep in the hole, he can only pot this if it would have gone in anyway. Oh, uh, never mind. Actually, that would have missed. <laughs> Just, just anything that anything that's managed to just throw it out. Completely throw it oh out. Oh my just god. Sean, out, it's please. like Sean did that just to spite me. <laughs> anyway, he's missed that. That's Carver. Uh, bad quick score bad like Sean for miss that. A quick score update on the seniors, which you can see in the background. We have third and fourth place playing off of David Vickers and Jamie Keane. We have David Vickers of three. Jamie Keane of 8 in races to 10, I believe. We also have the finalists of Lorenzo Ernstin and Joss Mruka. Lorenzo leading the charge at 8 4. <coughs> right, Mick uh, back at the table on the Reds here, and the Reds are looking pretty fantastic right now. And we've had a fairly well spread break by Nikki there. A couple of clusters on the red in the middle and the clustered red and yellow down to the bottom left hand side of the table. It'll be interesting to see how the ladies address these balls through the match. We have Mick who looks like he's slightly landed, he's under hit it, he's shaking his head, he's not terribly happy about that. Yeah, should, the be able, should be able to hold the white ball fairly well on this but uh, he's going to have to hit it a little bit harder than he wanted to. Yeah, he also may, has to make sure to get back to that ball at the middle at some point, which is a bit of white ball travel necessary there. Have white ball, will travel. Mmm. He's played that nicely if he kisses the black there. Oh, he That's has, a brilliant shot. doesn't he? That's a brilliant shot. So now he can dolly the white ball down towards the cushion, leaving himself a nice angle to bring the white ball. If he lands straight enough, he'll go one cushion towards the middle. Or if he lands a little bit higher, he will take two cushions of the bottom to the right-hand rail and bring a white ball towards the red in the middle. All determined on his position of play here. Yeah, right. He's left himself some brilliant angles, so now we'll see him go off two rails here and bounce out towards the middle, just past that yellow. Yeah, well, you don't think he'll just roll it, roll it up, you know, just overcut it, float the white up? What do you reckon? I don't think it'll be in his favour to roll the white up. If he, if he lands on the cushion, he won't be able to screw back or stun for the black, whereas he needs to... So you reckon uh, he'll screw off this rail here? I think he needs to go high enough. To come off two well, rails. he did what I said. <coughs> but anyway. <laughs> that is the two rails, mate. How is one it two, two rails? Oh, that does not count as two rails when he's cut it on the... Oh, okay, whatever. It's certainly two rails <laughs> off the ball. Ladies and gentlemen at home, let's start a poll. <laughs> How many rails did Mick just do? <laughs> I believe that was two rails, bottom rail and side rail. On a scale of one to ten. Jammer, How many two Jammer, rails you know, you know did everything. Mick Jammer, just hit? I need your expertise. So we just said the same thing in different ways, you know what, this is just how different minds work, you know, creativity. That's why we have a left and a right on commentary, mate. Absolutely, yeah, I mean, Frontal you lows. play with the cube in the wrong hand, uh, the cube in the wrong hand, I play in the... So now we see Mick lining up, <coughs> definitely black here, this is going to take him into the lead again. Yes, here we go, pressure, and he has and got it in the centre of the hole. Let's put that in. Congratulations, Mick, it was a very, well, a very well done good out there. Of the white ball. 
especially after the uh, those very two well. rail positional shot on his second last ball. Seven six race. <laughs> And you see Stella playing. There you go, Jamo. <laughs> to get it out. Same, same, but different, Jamo. Thank you. Same, but different. Yeah, exactly. <coughs> how many, Jamo? How many rails <laughs> did he hit? Might have to get a cue ball TV replay just to end the argument. <laughs> okay. What's the replay, Logan? Quiet, Matt. You can watch the replay, Logan. <clears throat> All right, Mick ahead, and with the break. And we have the boys cheering. Oh, that's a that, that was not a very well hit break. Um, I don't know how to describe it, but they didn't really go boo like they normally do when you when you get a nice connection. He only hit one two rail. Thank you, uh, Seiko. For the support here. Yeah, hit one, two, right. I love it. <laughs> it's I a very answer. diplomatic Jamo, answer Jamo, there. That could have been your answer. That yeah, true. Been your answer, mate. I expected better. Jamal will come up with something uh, equally brilliant, all right? Just you wait. Oh, time's passed now. <laughs> Time has <laughs> certainly passed. What a good shot that was by You'll, you'll load up ChatGPT and put so in the, the thing. Now she, she can play this red up. <coughs> so play the red in, play the white ball up. She left herself nice angle on the cover gun to advance out for the black as well. So we'll just have a watch on Stella to see if she puts this in. This will give her a little bit of confidence coming in at 4 Yeah, it's not certainly. Stella, especially after a couple of really good pops. And uh, Nikki has to sit on the sidelines and watch this. And this is where we discuss, you know, getting keeping yourself either in the game, getting yourself out of the home. Now Stella not too happy about that, as you can see with the expressions on her face. <laughs> but... This is portable by Stella. She doesn't run too much of a risk of going it off. But she's going to cut the face of it by the looks of it. Oh, she's cut it. She's, she's, she's tried to cut that. that. That's, uh, she has unfortunately knocked the other yellow on. Wouldn't say it was a problem ball, but it was a ball on its own at the top. Very difficult to get onto. Mm, yeah, she, she just didn't hit that red real nice. She just needed to stun out a little bit for the black and then she would have had an easier cut. Oh, Sean has uh, Sean has gone full sendage there to get his red out, and it's uh, it's on to the middle now. And nicely done there. Jamo Jamo's told <laughs> Dan, uh, yeah, rumours, you know. Uh, come on, Sean, let's start to lift, man. I believe he was lifting earlier today, Jamo. The old uh, Jime. The old Jimo. That's uh, that's his uh, relaxation method to get ready for the big match. That's why he's got the biggest biceps in Victorian pool. Uh, he's played a safety here. Doc, is that is that Doc Jeffries, sir? The Doc? I hope so. Oh, I would have thought it was um, it is. Halliday, isn't it? But Good maybe it is. Uh, oh, it is Doc Jeffries. Time, Doc. I'm sorry, I assumed it was Halliday. That's very offensive. Me yeah, too. yeah, yeah. Me too, Logan. It's offensive to everybody. Absolutely. Especially me to sit next to this. Oh my God, man. Uh, Mamma mia. Mamma mia. And now we're seeing Stella come back to have a shot on the black. There was an attempt at a safety there by Nikki. Uh, yes, it, yes, it is. Sorry, Hi, Doc. Uh, yes, it is doesn't quite help us because we said a lot of things there. <laughs> there were very many sentences which were made. Time to switch on, Sean. I agree. Let's see if Sean can flick the switch. He's known as the switch. Sean, known as the switch? Known as the switch, yeah. But, uh, he get himself turned on or did he just turn on himself? Um, I think Rob made the mistake of Is saying... Is the same, same but different, Jamo? No, I think uh, Rob made the mistake of saying switch on to Sean once and Sean's never let him forget it. So oh. that's why Sean is now the switch. There you go, Rob Bowen. Come on, Lorenzo. Yeah, Lorenzo's doing really well. He's 8-5 up. Uh, he was... Oh, was he not? 7-0 um, up at one point, Lorenzo, there. And he's now 8-5. So that's uh, that's really uh, tightened up there. Come on, 
Um, oh, if you do want to watch the stream with Lorenzo Mitch, uh, look up, uh, is it Bapper on YouTube? Uh, yes, so we either have the uh, Black Ball Australia, the Bapper Facebook page, or Cue Ball TV on YouTube. We do have all the matches streamed there at the moment. However, you can check the live scores on Pool Stats. If you go to National Events, Black Ball Australia event, and just go to the men's, the seniors, or the masters, whichever you want to watch, or the women's. We have that Mick Norton who is lining up the yellow beside the black there. Ah, uh, that's very sweet that Steve Halliday's missed the time with the wife. Uh, sometimes, as pool players, I'm sure we've all been there, but we do make uh, make the decisions of choosing pool over loved ones sometimes. No, no Mitch. Sure. We, do, we do love both, I swear. Pool and wives. Uh, I do wonder if this yellow passes to the uh, right middle there. Uh, it looks really close. I would think since Mick is potting balls that it does go. It would go. be on, yes. I yeah. assume. And he'd be taking it now. Would be the time. Right now? You reckon? No. He probably uh, needs a position or two to well, sort of okay. take it. But uh, this, this is going to be the turning point. And if he gets... Ooh, this looks... Uh, he might have to take the one on the left first. Yes. May have to change the way he's going. Hello to Mitch yes. Adams from Geelong. G'day, mates. Yeah, and he's done that. Oh, he's missed it. Uh, that, was not, that was not an easy pot, everyone. Um, yes, Doc. I've said hello a couple of times. Good it's Doc you. Jeffries. Good hello, Doc Jeffries. Mate. Oh, sorry. I just ignored someone who said hi to me. We walked past. It's <laughs> oh, a brilliant Jesus. pot. Brilliant pot by Sean. we got Logan, who is now currently in stitches. <laughs> Good so comment, Jemma. <laughs> obviously an inside joke. Anyway. But the <clears throat> chat does not know. Care to enlighten us, Logan? No. Um, <laughs> anyway. Sean's at the table here. So he's just played a brilliant, brilliant pot of a uh, ball to the middle. He's run the white ball up and landed where he is. He's still on uh, the red to the left-hand middle, then playing the red to the right-hand middle. Oh, they've both fallen victim to the middles. Sean missing it high there. <laughs> and now Mick, it looks like he's either got a very thin cut here. Ooh, that looks so in offish. No, maybe it's just missing to the, um, but regardless, it's going to be very difficult for him to get on his remaining yellow. So I wonder what shot he's going to play here. Let's see what he comes up with. If he's playing some sort of safety, I have a feeling here the right shot would be to play either the double or just the yellow into the rail and run the right ball, drift it down to the bottom right hand side of the table. No, he's he gone on the cut the and it, oh, he's, he, no, he's yeah, been able to hold it. That was a really good shot. He's been able to hold it, but I think that did not look like he could oh, hold did, on the uh, the shot. Did not look like he even potted from here. To be yeah, no, yeah, it looked dodgy as, but he's uh, he's uh, just as you can got see, it in. The, uh, the pocket sucked it in like a vortex. Bit of suckage. That's a uh, that's a Hoover pocket that one. Officer Doofy. All right, well, well, I guess we're going to find out if this goes. <laughs> uh, I mean, if this didn't go, I do wonder why Mick was uh, putting all the balls before, because he made no attempt to get this out. <coughs> Maybe this is going to be a nice, tight safety here in an attempt to get the free shot. Still lining it up like it goes. Or for Sean to leave him on. Mm, now, well, now, we'll never know if it went. No, because, won't. yeah, the black didn't move and it didn't go. But uh, that miss is a. Uh, I'd love to get Sean an opportunity. I'd love to get into the mind. Double with top. Uh, so Gemma doesn't reckon it was on. Just a minute, didn't look. On, but we're not at the table to no, we're not. tell, unfortunately. Oh, hello. Is that yellow one? No, he's not. 
Uh, Sean's played a nice snooker there, I think. No, I think you can nick that. You reckon? Yeah, you can absolutely nick that. And no, I, okay, I, then that's honest, not a good I, shot. I then. think with the nick, he may even be able to pop that. All right, we'll see what happens here. He's on the rail, makes it a little bit harder. Mm. But if he can nick this, then it was not a good shot by Sean. Maybe not the nick. No nick? To nick or not to nick? is tense ladies and gentlemen the room is reasonably silent Scott Davison the victim of Sean it seems at Perth this is the way Scott Davidson respect of the genius mm. so uh, Sean's quite an accomplished player over the years has uh, certainly made some Victorian state teams he played the junior worlds growing up through with snooker as well uh, quite a talented family, actually. So, uh, Sean was brought into the scene by uh, his late father, uh, Bernie. Lovely man. Obviously, people would know down at the Potter's, Potter's Pool Comp. So, Bernie Cup. Chase was just at the table, and I believe he said this was not a total. So, that means he can do a thin nick, but if it's, if it's that thin of a nick, then the yellow will not go into the pocket. So, that's why Nick... Uh, uh, Mick... <laughs> Mick jacked up there to look at a swerve. Didn't fancy it. He's gone back. He's decided he's going to play the one rail escape. Since it's not a total, he needs to hit a rail here. Which he has done. Hasn't landed too bad here. Yeah, he's left Sean tied to the so red. Sean will just play a tippy tappy. Tip tapperoo. Tippy tappy, tippy tappy. Nice shot there, Sean. Left. Now obviously he's Nick going to be snookered. playing either a two or a three rail escape here of McNaughton. I wonder um, if he goes off uh, one, two, three, four rails and tries to pot the yellow to the top left. What do you reckon, AJ? Well, I reckon if you were uh, Chris Jolly, you would certainly be taking the Have a crack. four rail escape and you would nail it. I'm, I agree, it was a good uh, effort not going by to lie. He, uh, On a straight shot, he might struggle, but on a four ball rail escape, good old Jolly can can put it out and put it in. So good shout out to Chris Jolly, my doubles partner. We did Look, well, sir. Sometimes when the uh, four rail escape is there, you. just got to send it. Just got to send it. Lick, lick the stamp, put it on, close oh, I wonder the envelope if he's, and oh, okay. send it. It looks like he is masseing into the side cushion. Uh, to straighten up the white and then to come down on the line to hit the yellow. Oh yeah, see, he didn't get quite enough, um, quite enough swerve on that. So it's a re it's a difficult shot today uh, to play because um, you're putting side, so you're you're trying to swerve the ball to make it straighter, and then the side takes off the cushion. All the while, uh, but he had a good crack at that. All the while, yeah, attacking up quite yeah, high. and he was snooking. but he had a good crack at it. He, Almost got enough to uh, hit the yellow there. Anyway, so we've, just the seen, we've just seen Jamie Keane walk over with the iPad with a demanding 10-3 win. It's given the thumbs up and the fist pump. So he is obviously tomorrow flying. and Lexi at home will be absolutely ecstatic. So congratulations to Jamie Keane on the win. Very well deserved, mate. Sean's decided to land this side of the balls. We also have a score update mm. of Lorenzo Ernstein. Sean will not be happy with that. Lorenzo leading 9 I'm sorry, five. Sean. Has to play a bit more of a shot here than he would have liked. Oh, and he's... He's landed close. Mm. Is this garbage or is this close fine? For comfort. Uh, this looks like garbage. You might have to play a safety here. Well, let's see what the shot happens. It could be hot garbage if he puts this in. Yeah, true. That you'll have to put out the fire if this goes in. Come on. I mean, if he, if he hasn't attempted this, he's, he's well aware that if he misses that the frame is over and he loses. Ooh, and he has overcut he has it. He's overcut it. How, How is left that me possible? On. Sean. Almost was the hot shot by Sean Partridge there. Sean made a bit of an error there. Snooker, I agreed with the snooker jammo, but Sean was confident on the pot. And now Mick is going to have an 8-6 lead in this race to 10. F's in the chat from Jamo. Come on, 
Let's see if Sean can fire back. Come back swinging. We want to see nine all in this final, naturally. Because who doesn't love a Hill Hill final? Everyone loves a Hill Hill final. Mm. The but hills uh, are alive. Sean is certainly going to strap himself up into the saddle here. And he will keep on riding in these frames. Will do. As for the uh, ladies' yeah. double, it's good to see it getting closing up, and that's a very nice snooker. That's a very nice snooker. That that's really difficult to shot. play. There's a lot of balls to, a lot of balls to keep track of when you're planning that shot. You got to track the path of the red you're hitting that you want to snooker behind, and where the other red is going, and then when the white is and she's played it. Nikki has played it perfectly. I feel sorry for you, mate. I don't know. If that doesn't go through my head. I just leave it. Now she's missed. Two yeah, you just balls leave it on. on both of those. <laughs> That's the issue. Unfortunately. <laughs> yeah. No, just hit and hope. <laughs> hit and hope, mate. Easiest way to go. Can't be disappointed. That must have been the finest of hairs. It's mm. She's decided to play from where the white ball lay. <clears throat> yep. She's decided these are easy enough. Let's just roll them in. Hmm. I wonder if she'll... Uh it looks like she's a little bit awkward here. This looks very straight. I think if it is, she'll have to play the black to the top left um, pocket. I think she's just going to stun it softly. Oh, okay, she's up just a screw back. And she's gone she's way too far. So this is going to be quite a difficult out for 10 Nikki 9 Sean so predict. Called total. Can we put a poll in the chat? We have Maddie then? Pearson. Who Do you know how to create a poll? Called the total snooker. We can with get the people's predictions on the score from here. For the boys at home, he uh, was lucky to get back up without that rest. Oh, sorry, I forgot to take my mic. <laughs> and she's just glanced off the just glanced off the black. Got now the snooker and a scratch with the white. So taps, no Pearson, poll. Just checking over to see if it actually was a foul, even though it's collecting the white from the pockets. Nice shot there by Mick. Yes, Scott Davidson. Shout out to Buzz and Justin Allen for the doubles. Well played, fellas. Very, very good to watch. 10-8 Mick. Another prediction in the chat. Mick, uh, Mick looks Stella's good on the red shot there. to promote the black here. And he's now playing up the table. Oh, the fresh airy. The yellow, that will be a foul. Now, during the exciting times, we have just had Lorenzo Einstein take a 10-5 win versus Josh Muka. Very, very well done to both players. I, uh, I've had the, the pleasure of playing with Josh over in South Africa. We've had uh, quite a good time over there. Um, good player, pops well. Very smart on the table. So unfortunate to see him lose, but it's nice to see Lorenzo win as a fellow Victorian. Yeah, uh, Mick has just, uh, Mick on uh, his <coughs> previous shot, uh, cut the red to the middle and landed basically glued to his red on the top there so he didn't have many options and he's uh, played a bit of a glance off shot there and Sean is now on oh that's already gone badly for Sean uh, he's looks like he's killed that yellow on the black and so now he's gonna oh he's tried to go into it there that's interesting um, I thought he might roll that in and get good angle on the one below the black to stun into it and then come up the table but he's uh, opted to go into that with top there and uh, unfortunately not landed very good here. Unfortunately for our 9-9 nine nine prediction. Well done, Lorenzo. Yes, Lorenzo, congratulations on your win there. He will be flying. Lorenzo saved us from the car breakdown that happened on our way up to Canberra. Thank you, Lorenzo. So that sounded very unfortunate, just like that leave. So this was a little bit like that car breakdown. Yes, 
There's a and car the white ball, ball was travelling and it's uh, stopped part way of where it should have been. So Sean is very, very close. I do not believe he's got the angle to slice this over to the middle. So we shall see one of the smart shots by Sean that he's known for. That's why he's called Genius as a nickname. Ah, is he? Absolutely. He's Shawnee G. It's not because he wears glasses? He didn't wear glasses up until recent years. He's starting to get old and show his age, as you can see. He's always been bald from a young bloke, though. How about the shout-out for the King's Cup on the June long weekend at the Harmony German Club. Logan, you and your mates that were at Aubrey would love this tournament. Jamo, are you coming? Uh, King's Cup, from what I've heard... Because I've never been myself. It is a fantastic tournament. No one has anything mm -hmm. bad to say about it. I've never heard a bad word. I've heard nothing Long but races, good things. great field, brilliant players. And at this event, the Harmony German Club, which is a fan... Oh, did I say event? At this venue, the Harmony German Club, which is a fantastic venue. Actually, this is a great venue, this guy. So if you haven't been down to any of the tournaments that are at the Harmony German Club, definitely come down. I'd like to give a shout out to the head chef here as well. He has made sure that all the players from around the country are being well fed. The food here is absolutely phenomenal. Yes. Schnitzel. The, you, you would expect a German venue to have good chicken schnitzels. And it does. Would you? And why would you? Well, because it's a German thing, you know. These schnitzels, schnitzels are German stuff. things, are they? It sounds German. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man. They certainly have sausages and bratwurst, so guys. Yes. They have uh, a sauerkraut. lot of sauerkraut and pickled cabbage. Schnapps. And schnapps, yes, and Kessler. They uh, can't speak can't speak more highly about this, this club in terms of the staff and the food. Uh, and yes, and uh, I will consider certainly consider playing in the uh, King's Cup. It does depend on my uni schedule. Well, uh, just to let you know, Ron, I know you didn't invite me and the boys, but uh, no, we, you're not welcome, we have already you? spoken about bringing a car load down, which will be good if we can find the time, actually. Right, back on the, back to the games, which is what everyone actually cares about. Uh, Mick is on... Jamo said he's uh, going to be going to China during that time. So it'd be good to have you over there, mates. The uh, Chinese eight ball was, was a great deal of fun and the tournaments are absolutely amazing. Oh, I've just noticed um, the balls are wrong, Dan, on the... Oh, yep, took it over. Yeah. But anyway. Uh, Mick's shaking his head at that shot because he, uh, it appears this red on the left doesn't go to the middle. He has to land on it high. And with where he is on the red, that might be tricky to pull off. You might have to screw back and land very precisely, which is never a shot you want to be playing. Oh, he's played that all right. I mean, he's landed, he's landed on a shot, which is... Mmm, it's a tough shot. What do you reckon, AJ? Looks like he's going to have to play some stunny sort of off the rail shot and get on the black. This is all sorts of difficult. I actually think... Uh, Thanks, I uh, think, I think person whose name I can't say. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the comment there, mate. <laughs> Tort. Thank you very much, Tort. We really appreciate that. Thank you. Um, so I, I fancy this of just running running down with top and playing the black ball to the middle off the yellow. If you have a pot of that. Oh, you reckon they, uh, the black one in there, eh? I'll tell you what, I don't reckon the black actually did go in there. I reckon he's uh, attempt, uh, played the cover there. Actually, what am I saying? Of course he didn't. But anyway. Well. well, Sean, with the opportunity here. Um, I, I presume the top red, as in the one nearest the black, doesn't pass to this bottom right until the one near it. Why is there an echo, Dan? It's kind of distracting. <laughs> that is on uh, Dan's microphone there. He likes to indulge in the commentary, old Dan. Hmm, Sean's not landed great there. I wonder if he'll be looking at a snooker. But the problem with the snooker is the one rail escape. Uh, Mick's not that unlikely to pot it. In fact, he's quite likely to pot it. Um, and obviously, if Sean leaves Nick any 
make any easy shot, he's going to... Mm, okay, so he's played the snooker, and he's got the yellow close. Mm, I, I reckon uh, Sean wanted that yellow a little bit closer, just so he can make the one rail escape um, harder. Uh, but as it is, it does look like there's a chance if Mick pots this red. No, it does look like the white will beat the... Oh, wait, is he just on it? Oh. Well, clearly he is, because he's playing it. The way he's lined up, he was... Yeah, okay, that was not... That, a, was, yeah, uh, that was certainly not what Sean wanted. It was tight, but Sean back in. Hmm. Mick with a black to get ahead. Tush. G'day, mates. Welcome to the stream. Thanks for tuning in. Oh, and he's um, missed it. We just had a we just had a missed black by Mick. The room has erupted. That's the room has erupted. Cheering for Sean here. That is, dare I say, turning point, game changer. Absolutely could be the turning point. FM, um, I don't know if that's a radio thing you're trying to say there, Jamo, but uh, we're on YouTube here. <coughs> Sean makes no mistake, and here is the 8-7. Potential 9-6 on the hill. Mick just undercut the Mick. Mick will be absolutely spewing about that. Could have taken that to a 9-6 lead, putting him on the hill. As Mick's Logan just was taking just telling me. Big chug of his beer there. This certainly, certainly keeps Sean in the match now. So we have Mick's break incoming. It would not surprise me if Mick being a little rattled. He tries to break a bit harder or a bit bigger than what he usually does. I'll be back in a moment. Yes, Scott, we, uh, we do have Deb on the nail biter there. We also have Laura Norton, who is also on the nail biting. But uh, what a match this has turned out to be. Thank you. You're a gem. All right. Uh, to, to have a look at the women's final now, um, Nikki did win that frame before to get to 5-2, and uh, it looks like there's been a bit of a... Oh, jeez, the stream's in uh, in no man's land right now. Sorry, everyone. Uh, Dan yep. has just run off... Dan has decided to, to sabotage the stream for to, everyone and to get us drinks, uh, and uh, we don't know how to fix it, and I'm scared to touch anything, so... All right, let's start clicking some buttons, guys. Uh, please don't, actually. Oh, <laughs> oh no, the bar shut! That's a catastrophe. Oh, we missed out by four minutes. <laughs> Why? So I believe that everything nice that Logan's just said about Harmony Flow is just going out the window. But uh, we are now up to water, which doesn't uh, bother me. We're in the water we've zone, ladies Sean and Walpole bring over one Thanks, glass Sean. of water for both commentators. So now Logan and I will have to share the single glass. No, nah, this is... Thank sorry, you, Sean claiming it. Anyway, back to the games. Oh, Dan, can you fix the stream? Can you... Fix? Oh, thanks. Well, we, I didn't know which button to click. Oh, is that the button you were going to click? Oh, well, never mind. Sorry, guys, I uh, ruined the stream there for a moment. Oh, mate, yeah, I'm just... Uh, I'm new to this, all right? I'm the new guy on the block. It's my first day. Oh, yeah. Woo! No penguins. All right, so we have we have Stella with the yellow to left hand side. Now this this could bring her down to a five three trail. Still yes. a shot that Stella is more than likely to put in. I can't see with the overhead whether the yellow passes. It looks like it just goes into the right hand jaw there. Mm. I think at the right pace that that will drop. And just by the way, she's lining it up. That is certainly so. 
Yeah, it looked like it went clean. Yeah, I went to the yeah. uh, topside job. There you go. It was a lot cleaner than I thought. Unlike a toilet, I thought it was Thanks, flush, Dan. but then it was clean. Yes. Correct. Correct. Uh, that, so we're so a cover on the yellow, which was a good shot by Sean. Just to give an update on this frame. So the black was, is covering mix uh, reds there. Um, and Sean... So, so, so mix... Uh, Okay, so Sean has attempted to, co to cover the bottom right pocket there so that he can have control over the black and two of Mix red. So that's a defensive shot there by Sean. And now Mick is going to have to deal with this because he can't progress his situation in the frame until that pocket is cleared out. So let's see how he responds. Uh, but uh, one thing that Mick has going for him is uh, it's difficult for Sean to get on the black. So Sean, at the moment, in order to pot out, he would have to land low on this yellow near the pocket and he would have to smash into the black and land on it somehow. And if he uh, does go into the yellow, he can come into the right-hand side of the red, that is to the left of the black, and then come in and glance half ball onto the other red and open up both yep. reds if you had to. But now that Mix. entire scenario yes. has been folded. Mix by tightening Mick things a smart up here. Shot yep. With the red covering the path towards the yellow. Now, Sean might be looking at trying to get the yellow further over the hole, but that's very difficult to do without potting it. Unfortunately, Jamo, this happening in venues um, across Australia. COVID, we have seen that uh, licensing and certainly liquor licensing um, has been a bit more expensive Ooh, part of the venues to keep open. Sean has got, him, got a bit of a result there, just quietly. He's gone full smash on that uh, pocket there, cleared everything out, which would be a disaster because Sean had control over it. But he's managed to leave Mick on... Only this really long pot. And also he's got coverage, uh, he's uh, smothered uh, one of Mick's reds at the top there. So Mick might be looking to cover this hole. Nope. Never mind. wonder what Mick's plan is to deal with that red at the top there. Uh, but yeah, Gemma, I'm sure these uh, boys uh, have drinks back at their, their rooms waiting for them if in the situation that they're able to win so the celebration will go on right? whether at the venue or elsewhere I'm sure Sean will like to stay in a very good state he also has the team's finals tomorrow actually that's true so there's a very good run I'm we sure also have I'm sure his uh, teammates would want him in great condition <coughs> for that yes 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 all of his teammates do <laughs> yeah please Sean no, um, even uh, Sean, Sean's been a, a good lead for us coming through the team's event. We also see... Uh, Mick's promoted, his, he, he's promoted his tough ball there. Really nice shot there by Mick. He was able to get it out of that ball to the middle. And now he's just got to find a way to get back down for it. Mm, this is actually really tough, I think. Because he can't... Oh, maybe he plays the cut now. Okay, see, that's what he's looking at. Because he's realised uh, he's, he's in a... It's tough for him to get one of these balls down here, unless he plays the one on the right hand side, which is a thin cut, and get back down to the table for this this problem ball. And uh, he'd have to screw back really hard off the ball on the left hand side if he wanted to do that, because it's on the top side of the pocket. So let's see how he plays this. It's not easy for me, not as easy as it might look with balls over the hole. One thing I have noticed actually uh, with Mick, I noticed by playing him quite a few times, um, certainly through the IPA events, he, um, he he doesn't like the extreme cuts on anything, even though he's having a look at one now, though he, he certainly doesn't mind going a length of the table to then come back to a ball if he's not too sure on a cut. Just one thing I have noticed about, uh, <laughs> about Mick's travel on the table. we got Buzz trying to be as careful as he can, creeping around the commentary, trying not to make a noise before he's a shot. He's gone the thin cut. He's played it well. 
And he oh, is on his ball. Floor, which is he's landed perfectly. He's actually landed delightful. So this gives him the perfect aim to back and forth. To that is a on the same brilliant side shot the there by me. Now to put the black ball into the bottom left hand pocket. Mm -hmm. Just got to glide past here. Just got to play a nice little controlled white ball here. This has been a good finish by Mick. Oh, he's gone he's into the black. The black. He's, oh, he's, he's, out of that. he's got a bit of a result there. He won't be unhappy with that. I mean, yes, he was uh, very likely to be on it, but he created uncertainty by going into the black, where he absolutely. could have avoided it. And he makes no mistake. <laughs> But in and the CT crowd goes wild. Mick is on the hill. Brings the gap to 7-9 Mick's way. Very, very difficult to keep a level head at this stage of the game. Very late at night, late in the tournament as well. It is, certainly. Having just a quick breather from the fellas here. So we will focus on the ladies on the left-hand side with Stella... Unfortunately, scratching the white ball in the top left hand pockets. Which will give Nikki a ball in hand and free ball on the yellows. Likely won't see too much too much of any clever plays here by Nikki on moving her opponent's ball. She may just end up dollying her own ball on the rail down, which will leave her open for the ball in the middle at the bottom of the table to continue her pot out. Yeah, I don't mind that. Um... Even though the balls on the rails are much easier on these supreme tables, there's still there's still balls on rails. You know, you gotta you gotta land in a really precise area to be on them good and all this sort of stuff. So that's that's a very common usage of the free shot is just promote your rail ball and then go ham. That's what she's done here. Um. I think she would have preferred a little bit more angle here. If she was a little further up the table, then she could roll this ball in on the left-hand side and get get a bit neater on her other balls. But I think she'll just come back a little bit for this ball to the middle. Oh, okay. No, she's stunned up. She's played a little bit too much stun on that and gone a bit high. I don't think... I don't think mm, she can uh, see that yellow pass the black. Yeah, it's gone a little bit pear shaped, hasn't it? We've just been informed that the ladies match is going to be a race to eight. Oh, okay. We had that totally incorrect. Unfortunately, we have been given some misinformation, but that's okay. That means sure, that Nikki Howard is slightly closer to what went to wrong. A victory here, and a little bit further, Stella has to travel to obtain. Oh, uh, Sean did not hear that break uh, as good as. No, I, but he certainly smashed it. Yeah, he smashed it, but you notice the white shot off towards the right Absolutely. middle pocket. The way he's been playing the break. He wants the white to come almost straight back. So that means he didn't hit that as precisely as he would have uh, been intending. However, he's got a ball and uh, he's, he's on. So he won't be unhappy with the result. And he's on the reds here. And the reds look... Uh, I mean, they're all in the open, but this one on the left-hand side... Uh, near the black. I believe the one near the black, if he was to use the red that is down on the bottom rail, mm -hmm. making sure that the white ball is either towards the middle or just between the middle and the left-hand side of the table, he can use the angle to come up and break out both the black and the red and promote them. Mm, and the, the reason we're talking about breaking it out is on a uh, standard Australian seven-foot table, this, ball, this red ball you would just play to the middle every day of the week. However, these pockets, the middles, the way they cut, are very tight at that angle. That is a very difficult pot. Toit like a toy car. Yeah. So, Sean will... He, he's, he's more likely to play it to the top left pocket than so he is to play it to the he's going to play the promotion shot now. Oh, he's and he played has a... missed and fouled unintentionally. Oh. This will give Mick Norton a foul at 7-9 onto the hill. I wonder what he was trying to do There was a lot of pressure there. on this foul. He wanted to, I believe he wanted to just slightly nick off that red and send the white ball down mm. to the left-hand side of the, the left-hand side of the cushion there, where he could have still come off that yellow, 
and moved that yellow out of the way while still keeping his red ball on, kissing into the black. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. But uh, yeah, the pressure might be getting to Sean a bit here because uh, he's done the old fresh airy. And now Mick has a brilliant opportunity here to You're right. seal the deal. It was the worst time of the match to get an air ball. Mm. So this will be the determining factor for Mick here. This will, uh, this will test how well he is playing. You can see Sean having a little bit of relax and the uh, old eyebrow raise there. Yeah, Sean's um, sort of accepted defeat. That this this match would, is over. Like However, see, yeah. it certainly isn't yet. But you tend to expect at this level that when you play a foul... Mick's played a smart shot there. He's uh, mm. tied up two of Sean's balls and moved away quite a bit of traffic just with one ball. It's another clever usage of the free shot. That's what I quite like about these rules. Very, very good in black ball. I, I quite like the free shot rather than the two shots in the world rules. And also I'm not a, not a fan of the turnover or the, or the ball in hand anywhere on the international rules. That's personal preference though. Uh, yeah, the, the, the free shots um, opens up uh, a lot of opportunity for, for creativity. Because there's, there's so many things you can do. Yes, you can hit any ball. Yeah, any ball. Any ball. Even the black. Absolutely. Alright, so Mick. Um, oh, we have Stella who's come off two rails, snooker behind the black, and has potted her ball in the middle. That's a pretty green shot. Very that nice. That is a fantastic shot by Stella. So Mick. Uh, Mick Hopefully she capitalises on this. Great black there, great Mick black there, straight into the middle. You can see she's happy with herself on that. Brilliant shot. And uh, Mick, Mick here uh, is, he is now massive favourite to get these balls. The room is silent. Oh, oh Mick has Mick twist has on the shot. Short it. Sean is straight up oh, from his chair. He has done the old Q strangle. And towel down, walk of confidence from Sean around the table. We have Dan with the drone cam. And Sean has played a very smart, smart shot. Safety. Very, very smart shot by Sean. A lot of drama here at the uh, second German nature club. to this man. will be kicking himself. He had the he had the match in his hands there. And now he has to work for it. I do wonder if his total, I haven't heard the total call. Um I believe he is. So he doesn't need to hit a rail here. And it does look like he's going off the side cushion just to nudge this. Oh that's that is and he's almost come back for it for a second part so, of the cherry. So worth noting on that shot by Mick there, um, he still he was still in a really good position in this frame because he had coverage on these two reds to the bottom here, and Sean has his red tied up below the black. But the black still goes to the middle, right? So Mick was still in a very good shot. What he needed to do was not foul, and unfortunately he had. So now Sean with his free shot just needs to get this yellow clear of his reds, and then he ha can have a crack at stealing this frame back and getting us to eight seven. Uh, eight nine. With Sean's break, I believe. With at eight nine. No, that would be mixed break. Mixed break. Sean's break will be a nine all if we get there. Remember, Sean broke this frame, and I said he hit it bad, and he, he did got indeed. And yeah. He did indeed. All right. So with the free shot, as I said before, there's so many options here. But what he's looking to do is make it so that these two reds are potable at the bottom end of the table, which most likely means clearing this right pocket. Uh, he's opting for a different approach. Mm, I wonder if he's trying to kill the black here. What do you reckon, AJ? I believe he will just be trying to leave it as is. Oh, he's okay. trying to move he that to yellow to the right-hand side. He tries there's a to do lot of moving of parts it. there. Mm. Certainly not out of his skill range, but... What, uh, yeah, what I mean by all of it is... A little bit more pressure at this 
yeah. this stage of the game. He tried to pot this yellow on the right-hand side while setting the black up at the same time. And by the black, I mean he's red below the black. Which I didn't, I didn't mind. I don't mind the shot actually having a look at the, after, at the afterthought. Um, if that shot had come to fruition, he could have played the pot with the red to the left-hand side or even played the snooker, which he likely would have done. Oh, that's a fan... Honestly, that is a fantastic shot, given the and circumstances. And now we are seeing why they call him the genius. This will be a simple single rail escape, though, for Mick, potentially, with potential to pot the yellow into the left middle. Yeah, so just as before, Mick is still in control of this frame because he has coverage on this bottom right pocket. Uh, he just needs to not foul, which he's done. He does not need to hit a rail because he was total. And now, Sean has been asked the question again. Can he, can he deal with these two reds or play a really good snooker? Must have a plan. Looks like another snooker. And he's done a very good shot there. The precision with the white is impressive. I'm actually going to ask him how he does these shots like that because he plays them so, so very well. But again, Mick just needs to not fail. If, if Mick keeps not fouling, Sean will eventually run out of ways. Well, these snooker. two, actually with these snookers, these two yellow balls getting further and further apart certainly makes it uh, harder to hit one of them because he's, uh, he's reducing his chances every single time he's moving them. Now, Sean has the opportunity to move this red ball over into the jaw and cover that yellow, which will then give him back control of this frame, forcing Mick to play up the table. Yeah, I do wonder what Sean's going to do here. Yes, yeah, so he's got that in front. Okay, that's a... Yep. That's a very nice shot. Jammo reckons if Sean gets out of this frame, he is favourite. And Jammo will be making that call just based on momentum alone. Mm -hmm. That is what happens in these. You get a little bit of bloodlust, a little bit of momentum. Suddenly you become unstoppable in the uh, lasting frames to a match. So Mick now is... Mick is now behind in this frame because he doesn't have control of this bottom right pocket anymore. So Mick will be looking to take on this long pot and then being able to use one of these yellows to the right-hand side to pump off the rail, knock out Sean's red and open up his yellow yes, again. Yes, that's correct. There is a gap that Mick can explain. And he's made the pot. It's a very, very good pot. Especially the distance, the pressure. And here we go. The importance of that shot. Mick had a very good opportunity early in this frame to take the win. And now... He can see it again. He can see his opportunity. Let's see if he can take it. Oh, he's and hit he that. He I hate to say it, he's, he's hit, hit that, that horrendously. Oh, it's interesting to see what Sean does here, actually, because he can he can use his use his free shot here without taking ball in hand. I think he, he can will knock the red over to the down. left hand side, Correct. moving that yellow that's over the pocket there and killing it at the same time. The thing that needs, the reason Here you go. Yeah. Exactly. Got to be careful here to make sure he's on a ball. Yeah, and he is, he's played that very well. All right. Let's see if he can finish. We want to see the nine all, surely. Everyone wants to see surely the nine all. Wants even, even Mick Norton fans want to see nine all, admit it. <laughs> It's still a good shot. He has, uh, he's coming to black. He hasn't promoted it enough. That's a mistake Sean does not usually make. He's, uh, That's what pressure does, ladies and gentlemen. He's still favourite to pop this and screw back slightly to he cut the black is. into the middle. He certainly is. He's straight enough to make it an easier shot. It's a brilliant shot. Oh, he's coming to the black. Oh, here we go. We have a really tough shot for Sean now. A very tough shot. And the pressure is on here. He knows that uh, this is the key to 
keeping himself in the game here. That looks like it's going to stay there. And it did. Sean's upset. That was a very, very good attempt. Shattered. Now let's see if Mick can finally seal the deal on this frame. Just wants to get as close as possible to this uh, ball on the right hand side. To make the ball as easy as he can. Uh, sorry, ball on the right hand side. I mean the one near the rail. And Mick has landed. Not so ideal on that. He's going to have to leave himself the double to I the middle. I think he will be leaving yellow. himself the double, yep. Yeah. We are in absolute silence here. Yeah. Hello. Oh. He has landed good on this double. He's going across the face of the yellow ball here. Mm hmm. Not the most difficult double no. that we've seen, but uh, it under these shot that under you never miss unless you're in the final of the singles and you're on the hill. He doesn't get these. Big I'll call, put Rob. a fiver on it, Rob, that he does. Oh, you know what? Oh, you know what? Uh, you are yeah, a fiver. fiver. Oh, are you a five bucks, Rob? Does Sean get these, Rob? By a fiver, I meant high five. There is that rattle he got down, he hit that quickly. Mm. It was not that difficult of a double. But that's what the pressure does, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Yeah. Sure sure makes no mistake. <coughs> oh, Mick, ladies and gentlemen, we have a very interesting match. You have to feel for Mickey. Here he just couldn't quite get over the line in that frame. He had many opportunities, but he just fell short each time. But it's okay, he's got two more frames here to seal the deal. Nine, eight in front. I'll be back. Norton has had a powerful break there, putting two red balls into the same middle pocket on the right hand side. in the venue at the moment. A little bit of chatter. We have McNaughton who is going to break apart these balls here and this could be the tell-all tale of how this frame will go. And he has listed on the jaw. The room has erupted in cheers for Sean.
attempted the skill shot, been unfortunate. You can see Sean upset he's hit the table there. He's very unfortunate. He, uh, he did have the attempt at the skill shot. Again, another black ball rule. Where if you uh, pot your opponent's ball with your ball, as long as your ball goes in. So for those of you who have missed it, that was a free ball for Mick Norton, which is why he played the other ball and he still has a shot at the, at the table. Passes to the middle. It looks like it does. Oh, never mind. Oh, these are Rollins. Sorry. <laughs> and Logan has just made the call of Rollins for McNaughton here on these yellows. So he'll stun the white off this yellow back a little bit and leave himself some angle to trickle down the table to his last yellow to the bottom corner. Okay, it looks like he's going to go to the left hand side pocket then. Given that, oh, he's got. I feel like that was going to be pretty the, straight. Uh, no, he's no, going back. Got, in. He's, he's going back. Isn't he? Oh, no, yeah, it's going to be, it's it's gonna be the angle he was going to take all day. All right, this is a tidy finish here. Jesus, the robs. you can't say that from the crowd. Someone said, take your time. You can't say that. What are you doing? Anyway, some idiot in the crowd. <laughs> All right. That is Nick Norton that has taken out the singles of the Bla Australian Blackball Nationals in his home state in ACT. And he is a well-deserved Nick Norton, well played. Sean Partridge takes out second. He will be a little bit disappointed with second however he still has to be proud of what he's accomplished he's played well all week I, uh, I did expect him to put up quite a bit of a fight congratulations Mick honestly Absolutely. very well played it was a very high standard final very nervy at the end which is honestly great to see because you know I totally crumbled on the nerves earlier today and I feel a bit better about myself seeing these guys do it but yeah high standard final and Sean will be shattered anyway Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, that is the men's finals over. I'm going to sign myself off. Uh, I will probably have to do this as well, as we have matches in the morning. Absolutely, we've got uh, we've got our team's final in the morning. Um, it is now currently 12.30 12 30. at night, and we will be back up in just a handful of hours, be getting ready for our team's events. So wish us luck, go Victoria. Uh -huh, uh, thank you for Vicks. those at home for watching. That was AJ Marshno and Logan Brand on the commentary. Good luck to the ladies, uh, both Nikki Howard and Stella Poe. And thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in, guys.